everybody doing today? I just came back from FedEx. I picked up three boxes of snakes, two from Private Breeders, one from Morph Market. Um, I did just come back from Tinley Park, the NARBC in Chicago, and the show was canceled, as you guys know. It was a little disappointment, but it was probably for the best, given all the situations that's going on. It's been really difficult, you know, going out, trying to distance yourself from people. You know, we're just not used to living this, this way, but um, hopefully things do get better. And um, I really want to show you these snakes that I got. I know you're going to like them. And if you enjoy the videos, please subscribe, comment, and feel free to like the videos. So without further ado, let me show you what I ordered. Alright, so this is the first pair of snakes that I got. Now these are from Carol Huddleston from Low, Low Belly Reptiles. Low Belly Reptiles. Now this is a pair and this is actually the female and it says that she's in shed. Um, Carol did tell me that um, this girl was in shed before she shipped her. So let me open her up. Yep. She's definitely about to shed. This is um a Miami to Sarah corn snake. And she's about four months, five months old. I gotta double check. She has really deep, deep colors to her. You can't tell now because she's shedding. I'm definitely gonna do a little update when she does shed and I'll show you what she looks like. Um, let me show you what the male looks like. Let me put her back. And these are Miami corn snakes. Really, really nice colors in this boy. And these are going to actually pr produce a mixture of Tessera and regulars. If this is a super, you might get all Tesseras. I really do like the Tesseras, but um, the regulars are really nice too. And this is my first pair of these. Really, really pretty snake. Deep colors, and um, I'm really excited about breeding these. Oh, he does see the belly. It's like a checkerboard, and you know, all, most of my corn snakes have that. Some of them don't, so I'm pretty excited about that because I love the checkerboard belly. Just a beautiful snake. So I'm gonna actually put him in his bin right now that I made for him. Okay, stay in there. Don't. Actually, I will pick you up. You look like you're pretty calm. Yeah. That's the one thing, like I've said before, about corn snakes. They're really calm. I mean, I love my king snakes too, but the demeanor of the corn snakes, they're just like puppy dogs. So... Explore, explore. Oop. This is just a temporary bin. Uh, let him stay in here for about four or five months and then I'll upgrade him. I put this plant in here. It's kind of like another hide. And, you know, when they go through it, it helps them shed. Paper towel roll. You could change these out. It's a little bit more san sanitary than an actual log. Um, of course, if I was doing this in a display tank, I would put a log or a cork. I'm not going to put paper towel, but it's very effective. They, they actually hide in the paper towel a lot. They like it. Little water dish. Close that up. Now, 
put the female in. I'm going to try and put her in the water a little bit. She's probably going to run out. Okay. When they're shedding, it's good to, to have a little bit more of humidity. And you can see on the Tessera, you don't have as much black in the belly. It's not as checkerboard, but it's still nice. And this girl is beautiful. You, you can't tell now because she's shedding, but she has some really deep colors. Let me see if I could get her in the water a little bit. Yeah, she. I knew she was going to run out. And I'm, I'm going to actually do an update, show you once she's done shedding. I'm going in her little hide. So let me get the next box and show you the next pair of snakes. So far, you know, I've been home and I can't do much. I do have an essential job that I work, so that helps me. Um, but if I had to stay home all day, I, I wouldn't go crazy because I got a lot of reptiles to take care of, a lot of snakes, and I really enjoy doing that. And sometimes with my job, I don't have enough time, so this actually gives me more time. So, and you know, when I run out of time, my fiance actually helps me out. So let's check out what we got here. Oh, looking good, looking good. Now he taped them together, so I'm going to undo this and I'll be right back. Alright, so I got all the tape off. And this is the pair. Um, this is the female right here. Let me see if I can open it up, show you what she looks like. She might be going into shed. She's uh, pretty small too, but she's beautiful. Now this is just the aberrant California king snake, and I got these two because they had really interesting patterns. Um, I got a lot of projects going on that are specific for for um, certain morphs, traits, localities, and this is just one of those projects that uh, it's, it's just something cool that I saw and, and I think they'll make a really cool pairing. They'll throw out a lot of interesting babies. I don't know what I'm going to get from these. So something, you know, that everybody would like. She's a tiny little thing too. I'm going to take her outside and take some more pictures and videos of her. So far she's looking good though. She's really calm in the cup. I like her pattern. All different little zigzags. Alright, let me cover her up. Let me show you what the male looks like. Alright guys, so this is the male. I could already tell he's a little bit more flighty, so I gotta be careful with him. I'm pretty close to him in case he tries to run out. Check out the nice whites, the pattern on him, it's really nice. I really like this guy right here. Um, this is typical, you know, when snakes are small like this, a lot of times they're a little flighty and they calm down as you hold them and they get a little bit more size. So I'm going to actually set up the bins for these. I'm going to take some more pictures outside and videos, show you a little bit better what he looks like. And I have another box to unopen, uh, unopen so let's check it out. Alright, so the next box is from Walter Smith's Captive Creations. I heard a lot about Walter Smith on YouTube and watching other unboxing videos and I actually contacted him and he had some interesting animals that I'd be interested in. He emailed me right back any questions I had. He was real quick to respond. Even spoke to him through Messenger. Really, really good guy. So definitely happy to, to do business with him. So this is a female honey corn het ammo. It has some other heads in it too, possible head hypo and stripe. And the honeys, as they get older, they turn more and more yellow. 
So I'm really excited about raising this girl up. Um, I will need to get her a, a male to pair with. So let me take the tape off and I'll give you a better look what she looks like. That is a beautiful, beautiful girl. Check out the head, the head markings. And then it's more yellow throughout the body and then towards the middle, towards the tail. It almost looks like a bluish gray, which will definitely turn yellow as she gets older. But she is just stunning. So I got two more snakes in this box to unbox, so let's keep going. So next we have a pair to Sarah Creamsicle Corns. And this is the girl. This is the female. Now check out that orange. That is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful snake. If I could um, get her out of this paper towel, get a better look at her. She's stunning though. Wow. Really, really vivid colors. And these are both creamsicle tesseras. I'm pretty sure they could have some regular creamsicle hatchlings, but um, I really do like the tessera look. So now let's check out the mail. Last but not least, this is the male. Let me take out this paper towel. I think he's a little bit bigger than the female, but just about the same size. It's amazing how pretty these snakes are. Just amazing. Can't wait to, to get these a little bit bigger. Just beautiful. So now I'm going to lay out all the bins and um, we'll put them in. Thank you.